Hello, my lovely Capricorn. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Capricorn, single Capricorns. Welcome to November reading. November energy is here for each and everyone. Take love to one mostly connects. Leave what does not. Speaking of November, quite a challengeable energy in here and in everyone's life. So let's see how is your energies and how this month is fulfilling you, blessing you, and what spirit has to deliver to you, loves. Singles, when I refer to you, that's mean you are not dealing with someone in particular or you are not married or committed. All right, loves. So let's see, Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus. My highly resonate with you this reading, might be here and there a message, but no loves. Every single time you are stopping by, you do have a message in here to listen and hear. All right, Capricorns. Seven of Pentacles as overarching energy. Something here you are hoping to happen. Four of Pentacles, Hermit. It's like you, you are seeking a solution for something. And something here feels like, you know, something needs to change. Probably learn something new or putting other things in order so the energy is to move because it seems here that certain things here are not moving for quite a while the first card we have the fool empress queen of swords and six of wands you know for the fact is that you see certain things here not quite moving I feel here there is there is a lesson you are learning. There is new projections out there or new things that brings you a, a new energy. Probably you you are asking yourself what I do don't do right. What is wrong out there? Why certain things here are the way they are? And it seems here for some of you are having a person that could guide you to your movement or to the move you are looking for. Could be an air sign here. Let's see here. The, the hermit here. Four of swords. Chariot, High Priestess, and the World. So for some Capricorns, you, you could hold back on a person waiting for them. Will they come or not? And you could wait for a long time. Now, the coin flipped. You, you could take some time and realize here that, you know, I need to move too. If they moved on, I need to move too. For some of you, there is someone here that really, really told you, you got to go ahead. There is also here for some changing certain things in your life. Movement. There is also a Capricorn who, who probably will buy a, a different car this month. Or is planning for quite a while. It's like the, the car is having, you know, history here. Could be even up to 10 years and some of you might feel like well should I repair it or 
should I buy new new stuff like the to renew certain things or just let it go and get a new one and for those of you who are looking here for a car or to replace your car or buy a new car you will it's more likely probably you will make this move at the end of the month also I see here um, an advisor around you could be an advisor regards your career or whatever you do in life money wise studying wise the queen of swords clarifier of death yes somebody here my advice you to to do some some great changes but also it's kind of opening up your eyes into what I, why you are holding on on those that doesn't really bring you anything and it's like whoever is this person for some of you there is a mother figure around you who are telling you straight whatever it's there it's not like hey i'm sugarcoating or oh you are just my little girl my little boy i need to tell you this but it's kind of that person is very straight like stop being this way do this and you will see don't hold back do what is right it's time for change it's time for you to to step forward to step up hierophant See here, Scorpio and Taurus, between the new moon, which the new moon happened in October 25th, and also we had a partial sun eclipse, solar eclipse, and we have a full moon on the 8th to the 9th of November in Taurus, which we have a full moon eclipse. The other thing here is like the, the timeline between new moon and full moon. That's the, the timeline that really brings you. So leads till up to like first, first part of the first 15 days kind of, of November. The other thing here, we do have the energy of the north and the south node, which speaks of karmic energies don't hold on karmic energies but more likely release them and that is by taking action that is by taking action king of wands it's kind of activates certain energies that you will see them quite beautifully. So whatever here have been holding on, taking advice of someone, you will make the moves because there is quite big, big moves. It's like dedicating yourself to a whole new energy which looks quite uplifting. The best advice for Capricorns who are single at this time for this month. What do we have? Seven of Cups. The advice is look for other opportunities. Look for other things instead of holding and waiting. Make the decision. Explore more. Do more. And I feel here the right thing is coming. The, the thing is you, you might not be quite sure what to do or how to take these opportunities. But I feel here there is one great out there that looks beautiful for those of you who who 
who have a hard time to to let go of an ex the love comes in and can change your life beautifully but it's you who decide it's you because for some of you you are instead of looking towards the future you are looking in the past but it seems here there is movement into something way way more beautiful and the oracles for you what do we have as advice time to go time to go certain things here you've been holding on go the distance and move forward Go the distance very, very strongly speaks in. As you see here, there is fast movement. So whatever things here that you've been holding on, it's holding you from moving forward. And the young energy, taking action. Clean it up. And take a risk. Quite a challenge for some Capricorns taking the risk taking action and going forward so a lot of unnecessary stuff that you've been holding on now is the time to let it go and it seems here that many Capricorns will do so and by the end of the month look at you overcoming, being on top, feeling released, feeling in a great place, and why not? Six of Wands also, there is that interest in your company or in your energy. So a lot of things here starts to come in a way that you probably might not quite be ready for but why not let it be in so Capricorns that's what we have for you at this moment at this time I hope this connects resonates speaks to you if it does let us know and other than that have a beautiful month ahead and of course you know what to do namaste